smart food show, where we promote the consumption of smart food, which are good for you, good for the planet, and good for the farmer. Last week, we all experienced the drama that came about during the shopping. That tells you that the pressure is on, and the tension is rising. I have no idea. We need coriander. Oh. Oh. This is fresh coriander, you guys. We can do some nice soup with it. Today we continue with the challenge. The contestants will prepare an amazing meal with the superfoods provided, plus additional ingredients. Come with me. So the challenge for today is sorghum and chickpeas. Right? We want you to do vegetarian. All right? Just be creative. The sorghum is whole. It's not flour. Just be creative and come up with something really nice. I'm sure you will. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And you've got 40 minutes. So, ready? Ready. Get set. <laughs> right? Okay, on your bus. Go. And let the action begin. <laughs> Ladies, did you know that chickpeas help you lose that annoying weight? Due to the high fiber content and low glycemic index, salad with chickpeas are tasty and can keep you full longer, thus controlling your appetite. With different ideas running through the contestants' minds, what will be the outcome? Welcome back! Now, did you know that sorghum and pearl millet are really nutritious? The grains contain essential nutrients which help to give the body energy for growth and development. Well now, you know it. Our food is still cooking. Let's find out whether we have anything ready. Silence seemed to be the rule of the game. Or is it a secret weapon? Here are two complementary benefits of our two smart food. While the tannin-rich bran of sorghum has enzymes that inhibit absorption of starch, thus contributes to controlling insulin levels, chickpeas contributes to balance sugar levels while providing a steady, slow-burning energy. I am told that the food is now ready, so let's go have a taste. <laughs> 
It's time for our judges, Bill Ha, who's an administrator at the Strathmore Centre for Tourism and Hospitality, Chef Francis and Chef Faisal, both from the Sankara Hotel, to taste and later give their views. So today you've been using sorghum and chickpeas. Yes. Great. Let's see what you have. Starters? A sorghum vegetarian salad. Yes. It's being served with a fruit punch. So the salad oh, you contains... Made Yes. Oh, this is from you. <laughs> yes. So the salad contains pineapples, cheddar cheese, mixed peppers, uh, sorghum itself. What is your punch? It is a pineapple, watermelon, and beetroot. Pineapple, watermelon, and beetroot. Yes, yes. no sugar. Sorry. Oh. And for the main course, we're doing a chickpeas soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it contains chickpeas and uh, pe 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 paprika. Sorry? It's the, the main course yes. it contains chickpeas and paprika. Uh, so you blended the chickpeas? Yes. Okay, okay, fine. And uh, made it and mix it with paprika. Yes. Uh, any other seasoning that you used? A bit of chili. chili A bit of chili. Yeah. Ooh, chili and that's interesting. Did you guys spread your punch when you blended it? There's rapid in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, very good. Very fresh, natural sugar taste. Flavor well uh, blended. Apart from that, you need to strain it next time. Yeah. Your salad is uh, good as well. Crunchy, very fresh, very uh, wild flavors. The pineapple, the cheese, yeah, it's more oriental. And with the sorghum, with the crunchy feel, well done. Well yeah. seasoned, nice portion. I am, I am assuming that is your main course? Uh, the main course is, is the soup. Is the soup. Yes. Yes. Uh, so then that makes, uh, you have two main courses then. So this will probably uh, pass for a starter because it's direct portion. But your salad is a bit bigger. That portion is good for a salad as a main course. So uh, it's very well done, but uh, uh, probably next time just do a smaller it's portion. Well because you're also going with this. Yeah. Yes. Personally, what I feel is that you should have one cooked your peppers to just give the, the salad a bit more, you know, texture and difference. Because peppers really go well when they become sweeter with how your with the combination. It's more Middle Eastern and Mediterranean here. Yeah. That's what you're working with, yeah. Um, and next time, just cut all your peppers in the same shapes. Because here we have strips, yeah. and then here we have cubes. 
Mm. Okay. Right. That's and crush your black pepper properly. Esther, did you still take up leadership? In the first episode, you took up leadership in a very strong way. Is this still what happened this time round? Yes, it is. What do you feel as a team? <laughs> yeah, David, tell me. She's still the one leading us. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Last time I asked, who was the weakest? Kennedy, you tell me. Who do you feel was the weakest? It's really hard to know. Tell me. I can't fold them. I, I don't think there is someone who is weak because most of the time we are coming up with ideas and everybody wants to implement the idea. So at the end of the day, we end up uh, joining our ideas and coming up with something. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Sure. Thank you very much for Great. this. Okay. I didn't get the cayenne. Did you get, Did the, you get cayenne? the cayenne? They should have roasted the cayenne first. Perfectly blended. No. He's biased. You're biased. You're biased. biased. You're just biased. Just say, just say. You're biased, Francis. So you guys are just jealous, boys. Jealous? You're just jealous. Okay. <laughs> No, it no, was an out of this world. Good food like. <laughs> Did you see my eyes on that soup? No. I almost died. Group two, Kariboni. Can we see your starter? Yes, please. Asanath, what do you have for us today? So we have here spring rolls. Yes. As a starter. Uh-huh. Yes. Nice presentation. For your main course, what do you have today? Uh, we have a... Uh, Oven roasted vegetable ratatouille, uh -huh. with chickpea. Mm -hmm. I like the presentation. Okay, so one thing I'm seeing here is like a whole lot of sorghum. Who did the pastry? Um, um, Peter. It's Colin. Wow. Excellent. It's fantastic. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. But I'm gonna stop you right now. <laughs> For the spring roll, yep. the pastry is a bit. And I remember, you know, having, you know. I'm the one who kind of like proposed, you know, us making the spring roll because uh, I felt like it would give us an edge since it's not easy to make a spring roll. So yeah. Come on, Francis. I think for the like the first time of really making good. A manta pastry in in 30 minutes is fantastic. Yeah, they made a fat pastry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, this would you say this is what? Ah, it's a vegetable, oven roasted vegetable, ratatouille, with egg. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, ratatouille mm. is a vegetable stew. Yeah. It's supposed to have a stew. This will choke the life out of a living cow. <laughs> what I really like about your, sorry, your spring roll is the vegetables. They're fantastically made. Like, I'm very impressed. The onion flavor, 100%. The carrots, very nice. Fantastic. Mm. Fantastic. This is nice as well. The taste is yeah. well. Okay. This is a good this is really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> good good job. Good job. We're yeah. very impressed. We actually like the way you are you know clearing the plates. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are on it. <laughs> you know what? At this rate you might find it in the Sankara kitchen. <laughs> the next time you have garlic in it, yeah. please peel the garlic. Turn on sweet skin garlic, okay? Even though it's roasted, okay? Or roast it separately, then squeeze out the garlic puree out of it. It mixes it very nicely, yeah? So oh, this, this, has, this has skin on it. There's beetroot as well. Oh yes, I can see the garlic that you're talking about. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good job. Excellent. It's so interesting how we get surprised. There's so many Magic things that are coming out that we didn't quite expect. Oh, hello. We present to you our team effort. So what you have here is uh, sorghum bars, some grilled pineapples and watermelon. Wow. wow. Did you grill the watermelon as well? Yes. 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 Oh. So, so what you have? Course. Your main course? Yes. 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 The main course. We have some chickpea curry uh -huh. and vegetable. Oh, I love this. And your trash? What do you have for us? I hated how you say that. <laughs> Thank you for your trash. No. Not at least you kind of changed the names. Uh, who made the pineapples? Yes, I am. Uh, well, oh, very innovative. Thank you. Interesting flavor. But it's a horrible pairing. Horrible because this is wildly tough and hard <laughs> and crunchy. Yeah, we need and the salad is crunchy. very sweet. One thing about having a very sweet starter is sugar makes you full very fast. So if you have a lot of sugar, I'm assuming uh, what I can see here is caramelized apples and the melon. That's a lot of sugar already. Pineapples. Yes. Pineapples. Horrible combination. <laughs> but 
nice uh, try. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Out, out of the box, creative. I think it was actually very mm. interesting. All they needed to do, <laughs> all they need to do is change yeah. the texture of the the stick. Of the, the stick. Salt of the stick one, plus also incorporate more of a vinegar to balance in there. I love it. I love it. I think you you've also <laughs> taken it a, a notch higher after your first. Uh, production mm. which was not as good yeah. i remember we had uh, a few issues on creativity and but this this is this means you took up what we told you the advice we gave you and that's excellent and we want to see you progress, keep, progress and keep it that way the balance. um i love my team one because you have that teamwork uh, i love the synergy between us so i can't say anything negative about them everything is all about marvelous Thank you so much. Yes, this is good. Thank you so much. This is what uh, we'll be doing every yeah. day. You're on the right track. Thank you. <laughs> thank Great. You, thank you. Out of five. Out of five. Okay. So group one, three. Group two, three. Really? Mm -hmm. You think group one and group two are in the same? Group? I was. Um, I was really. Disappointed. And you gave group. I am like group one, one. Group two, four. Yes, yes. And group three, five. But anyway, can we all agree that group three was the best? The best yeah. yeah. Was the best. And group two was the second, and group three, worst. group one was not quite the This is where the truth comes out. May I have the third group, please step forward. Stanley, I am disappointed in your group. I think it's the pressure that we had. We, we had good, uh, like, we knew each other, like, we had good uh, group, group work, like, you know, teamwork, but the tension, but the tension we had was, uh, was really high, yeah. You served as cement? It was, it, was, it was literally very hard to chew, so that was horrible. That was horribly done. And you as a professional chef and as a group leader, you dragged your group down. I was content with the ingredients because they gave me a wide coverage. As in now, I already knew whatever I was about to make. So the other ingredients were, they were like additions to me. In the group. May I have the first group step forward, please? S. N. Kennedy. Hi. Hi. Disappointment as well, because you are the last group. You are the worst performers for this episode, which is a bad thing because you led in the first round. So I want to know what happened. What what went wrong? The, the, the kind of synergy and energy you people had in the first round was not the same thing I saw. And so maybe I think you had an idea that maybe you won somehow and that got into your heads. No, there was no mm. life with you. Maybe just because you were me and Kian, uh, one of the team members was away. So all the workload, we had too much to do. Um, but that's not an excuse. And you clearly served us a punch that could run stomachs. Because that, that, that was watermelon was so overripe, it could have been made into wine. Exactly. I was a bit drunk. Like yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah. And it had so much pulp, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. We learn from that. Yes. Please, please learn from me. Don't say you learn from that. Please learn from me. Because if you keep giving me the same things you are giving me, you're not going to make it. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter if there's one of you. I think the judge are trying to bring out the best in us and uh, I take the comments as a challenge and um, I'm working on whatever they said. Lafton and your team members, please step forward. There was a very good redemption on your part for the second round. Little waste. Very little waste and an absolutely delicious start and main course. That was very good. Thank you very much. 
But the next time you lie about your main cause, we'll have a problem. It was not a ratatouille. It will never be a ratatouille, and it cannot even be called a ratatouille in any terms possible. Okay. In any cuisine of any country of any universe. Yeah. Even from Mars. But good job, guys. That was very good. I really hope you keep that up. Please give these guys a run for the for the title. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. David! David, yes, he's been missing from the team. He's been missing in action. Um, uh, however, he has valid reasons. Uh, that has not stopped our team, that is me and Kian, from performing. Um, because we won in the, in the first... Uh, in the first round so we are still working as a team because we have to consult him we have to call him and, and tell him oh, so David this is what we have in mind what can you add um, what ideas do you have so we can bring everything together and see how we can work with that um, his, presence, his presence is being felt <laughs> um, we'd, we'd still be appreciative to have him back that the battle is on. Tune in next week as we continue the journey to consume the smart food that are good for you, good for the planet and the farm. Only on the Smart Food Show.